Item number, SCP-442, Object Class, Euclid. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-442 is to be kept away from its current owner in a secure container until being used for testing. The current owner must have a will leaving SCP-442 to a D-Class personnel. The owner is granted a suspension of termination. Should the D-Class listed in the current owner's will be terminated, or otherwise invalidated for ownership of SCP-442, a new will is to be written at the next available opportunity. Description: SCP-442 is a gold-plated pocket watch, 3 centimeters in diameter with hands showing the hour and minute. Along the edge of the watch, an inscription reads, To my good friend, a helping hand. While no apparent seams allowing SCP-442 to be opened without damaging it have been found, scans of the interior of SCP-442 have revealed nothing unusual in its workings. As long as SCP-442 is wound, it will set itself to the correct time. Crossing time zones or winding SCP-442 while it displays an incorrect time results in SCP-442 making rapid motions to adjust itself. The owner of SCP-442 is granted intrinsic knowledge of the time and can recite the precise time to an arbitrary precision as long as SCP-442 is on his or her person. Additionally, the owner of SCP-442 will never be late as long as the watch remains wound and on their person. Attempts to force the owner to be late have never succeeded while SCP-442 is wound. When SCP-442 is left unwound or removed from the owner's person, the owner will be incapable of being on time. The severity of incidents causing this increase as SCP-442 is left unattended, invariably becoming fatal within a week. Ownership of SCP-442 passes through normal means and can be sold or gifted to another party. SCP-442 has never been left unowned. Death of the previous owner results in SCP-442 instantly transferring to a new owner. A will, leaving SCP-442 to someone close to the previous owner upon their death, has never failed to surface. Attempts to prevent a will from coming into being have met with the same failures as attempts to make the owner of SCP-442 late. The new owner is instantly aware of the existence of SCP-442 and is drawn to it. Although the effects of owning the watch only manifest after initial contact with SCP-442. SCP-442 was brought into Foundation control by J.S., a junior technician working at Site-19, when he inherited it as a family heirloom. S.'s superiors noticed an immediate change in work habits after he received SCP-442. S. had a prior reputation for his lack of time management skills and was regularly written up for being late to his station. When questioned by Dr. J, S showed SCP-442 to Dr. J and said that it was a lucky charm. He then told Dr. J pieces of family lore attached to SCP-442, which later experimentation would reveal to be mostly true. Testing was performed to confirm SCP's status, after which its history of harmlessness was cited and S was allowed to maintain possession of SCP-442 on the condition he willed it to the Foundation on his death. S was subject to observation and regular psychological evaluation during his possession of SCP-442, during which further effects of SCP-442 were discovered. Extended ownership of SCP-442 slowly rewrites the subject's personality. Within two years, regardless of previous attitude, the owner exhibits unusually high self-control and reacts to situations in a timely manner. S's motor control increased dramatically during this period, scoring in the 99th percentile of every test at the two-year mark. During this same time, the owner will become increasingly annoyed at tardiness. S broke ties with several friends over increasingly small infractions. After a decade of owning SCP-442, J.S. had completely changed. While S. displayed a level of professionalism commendable of any member of the SCP staff, 
His private life had suffered tremendously. Unable to tolerate tardiness, S had pushed away all his friends and had been diagnosed with clinical depression. After S committed suicide, O5 reported ownership and had it transferred to him. A D-Class personnel was then chosen for experimentation and given SCP-442. Lesson complete. If you missed the previous orientation, go watch SCP-441, Jacob Ram, right now. Or for the complete course, watch this playlist.